This is AMD's newest RDNA 4 graphics card, marketed directly for AI. Let's see how good it is, because it's half the cost of the competition, the RTX Pro 4500. They're even claiming it's two times faster than the previous generation. Let's see if there's a catch. It's just not working right now. I don't know why. Let's see the support. Oh, NVIDIA. But when I launch Comfy UI, it asks for an NVIDIA GPU. Stable Diffusion Web UI for AMD. It was last updated a year ago. Linux only. Wait, wait, you succeeded but failed? So far, I'm regretting the purchase because it's just so hard to set up. The text generation, really easy and simple to set up with LM Studio on Windows, on Windows. But on Linux, that's where the GPU is mostly supported. And I'm having tons of trouble setting that up. With NVIDIA, you don't have to go to Linux just works in Windows. 6.5 doesn't exist, to my knowledge. The newest one is 6.43. Maybe I'm the stupid one for buying AMD. So this graphics card's basically the 9700, but with double the VRAM. Same die, new memory. All right, now let's get to unboxing. This GPU has a two-slot blower-style cooler, which makes it great for multi-GPU setups. A 300-watt TDP. It supports ECC memory, but only in Linux. Has DisplayPort 2.1a, AV1 decode, and encode. And the downside of this card is that it uses older GDDR6 memory on a 256-bit bus. But let's see how much that actually matters in our tests. I did notice on the ASRock website, it claims to have 1,531 AI tops, which would lead me to believe it should match or beat my RTX 4090 in some AI workloads. The system that is being used to benchmark has a Ryzen 5800X 3D, 128 gigabytes of DDR4, 3,200 megahertz RAM on a two terabyte SSD. The Mac results have been kept for comparison's sake. In conclusion, this is really not a gaming card. 
If you wanted a gaming card, you should just get the 16 gigabyte version because it's half the cost and the same performance. What this card really is for is for AI, like it's marketed for. But it wasn't that easy to get started doing AI on Windows at least. AMD does have their own AI image generation, but no one really mentioned it to me. Like the box, it wasn't in the box. It wasn't in their drivers uh, when I was installing them. I was confused about how to do image generation on Windows. I looked at the most popular ones and they said, go to Linux. So then I went to Linux and no one told me that app images don't work on Ubuntu 24 LTS, which is like an EXE not working on Windows. And there's no error message that tells you, hey, this doesn't work because we have the library unless you use terminal. It recommended Fuse. Be careful when installing Fuse, it could mess up your desktop. Why is that a thing? Like I have to be scared of Installing an app that, and if I do, it might destroy my desktop. So I did get LM Studio and Invoke AI and even Comfy UI working on Linux, but it was frustrating. I don't know if I can recommend it for beginners because with NVIDIA, it's not that difficult. You can just use Windows. And if you go to Linux, you don't have to deal with getting ROCM and dealing with that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I got the 4090 at MSRP. If I didn't, and I did not have the 4090, I would definitely highly recommend this card. You get a ton of memory, you can do AI training, AI image generation, but it's only competitive in AI image generation if you're using the AMD optimized models. For text generation, this is amazing. This is a really great value if you're just doing text generation. I really love how this card is two slots and it's 300 TDP. I don't have to worry about upgrading my power supply to some crazy 2000 watt if I wanna do a dual GPU setup. But this is not a gamer class card, like a 4090 or 5090. It's a professional workstation card. So we have to look at the workstation cards on Nvidia side, which is the RTX Pro Blackwell 4500, which is over double the cost. I think it's three times the cost of this. Yeah, I would probably buy this three times over that. I'm not sure. I tried experimenting with video generation with this GPU on Comfy UI. I clicked use WAN 2.1, I clicked generate, and then it said, hey, we don't support 8-bit process, use ROCM 6.5. And I looked at the ROCM's website, they only have the 6.43 release. 6.5 doesn't exist, but AMD is advertising ROCM 7 on their website, on it is their MI350 accelerator. So is ROCM only for their $10,000 accelerator? I don't really know what I'm doing with AI and benchmarking. So it would be really nice if you could go in the comments and tell me what I'm doing wrong and, hey, you should use this or this driver. Uh, that would be really great. 